and welcome to the Best Buy blog. My name is Ray, and in this video, I'll be reviewing the Tyneco iFloor 3. Cleaning up spills is a hassle, but the Tyneco iFloor 3 cordless wet and dry upright vacuum can change that. In the box of the Tyneco iFloor 3, you'll find a securely packed device, a quick start guide, which I love, um, a bunch of cleaning tools, two HEPA filters, a full-sized bottle of hard floor cleaning solution, and a handle that clicks on as well as a brush roll that's already loaded into the device itself. Finally, you'll find a charging dock and plug. It goes right into the wall and you just place the vacuum on the dock and it'll charge for you. The battery included in the Upright iFloor 3 Vacuum and Wash offers 25 minutes of runtime on a single charge. Its LED display highlights the device's battery level, mode, self-cleaning, Ecomax or regular, and status for the brush roll, dirty water tank, and clean water tank. The iFloor 3 locks into place when it's charging or not in use, which makes it really sturdy and prevents any leaks. You sort of have to step on the bottom and then pull the handle backwards in order to let it turn on to on mode, which is really helpful. And the brush roll, I find, kind of pulls you along. So the device is lightweight, especially compared to other upright vacuums, much less other upright wet and dry wet vacuums. But because the brush roll moves on its own, it makes vacuuming a lot easier than it would be. So it's like extra lightweight. <laughs> um, I also really appreciated that it's cordless, which I felt made it really easy to just like grab and clean a mess up super quickly. In order to show how effectively and efficiently it cleans, I poured a little bit of milk on the floor. My cat was pretty interested. And I actually found that it only really takes one pass over an area to get it super clean. Um, this section of the video is in real time, so you'll see that it just like sucks it right up and as soon as you pull that vacuum back, your floor is completely clean. I got down after this video and smelled it to see if I could smell any milk and I really couldn't. I also tested the iFloor 3 on a low pile carpet. It's not designed for this, but I just wanted to give it a go and even though this isn't what it's optimized for, it did actually do a pretty good job just getting like everyday gunk out of the top layer of my carpet. You can sort of see it in the pictures in my review, just how much it managed to pull up. That being said, when you use this vacuum, it's pretty obvious that it's not designed for things like carpets because it really excels at cleaning up everyday spills. If you like get chicken noodle soup on the floor, if you have milk and cereal, just cleaning jobs that would be difficult to sort of shovel into the garbage and then also mop up with a rag, the iFloor 3 handles them in seconds. And its self-cleaning function means that even once you're ready to go, you can like, it, it gets its own brush roll clean, you just have to sort of dump your dirty water in the sink, rinse it out, and you're good to go. For my full review, make sure to check out the Best Buy blog. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.